Welcome to the ABAC Stadium for the Peterborough United staff match, where we all try and showcase our talent for the masses. I mean, look at this kickoff routine. That's training ground stuff right there. McCann playing for the uh, blue staff team as the pace of the game is already too much for some. Thankfully not me, I wasn't on at this point. McCann pinging the ball into photography. Extraordinaire Joe Dent, whose touch there is about five yards away from his boot. The Pink Posh staff, who inc uh, incidentally I play for, uh, are on the attack early here with Sam Darlow in his rapid pace down the left-hand side. Darlow was a team manager and didn't pick me in the starting lineup, so that was a terrible cross from Darlow. Terrible. Anyway, these highlights are edited by Tom Stent, and for the life of me, I have no idea why I'm still commentating on it, but you do get to see the rapid pace here of Dent and Gilby in attack, and this is in slow-mo. Oh, no, it's not in slow-mo. Oh, dear. It just must be their pace. So, yes, we're still going. Oh, here, we, no, here we go. We've got some real action now. Sam Gochran, who once featured for the posh in a pre-season friendly against Celtic with a pass to Kieran Scarf, who pings it out wide to media and ticketing boss Chris Brewer. Now, if you analyse this, Stent should be closer to Brewer to stop the cross, but it gets all the way to the back post and Darlow with a rubbish finish. As you can see, Ryan Semple thinks it's a World Cup final. He didn't even score it. Celebrating wildly there as if he would bag the 30-yard winner. Oh, a replay. This is quite exciting. As you can see, scuffed into the bottom corner by Darlow. Moving on then, the Pinks are playing some decent stuff. Here they go here, passing to Scarf. I think he's going to get it. And let's have a look. Oh, oh that's not even worth including, I don't think. Horace Jones and Alex Harris from the commercial team working as a team. And... Oh, that's just a tackle from Stan. You see, that's what happens when you let him edit things. Just puts in what he likes. Anyway, corner to the pink. Dave Farrell is at the back post. Takes a touch. Great strike by Farrell. Oh, who's that on the line? He looks like Clark Kent. Is it Superman? I think it's a rabbit. Oh, oh now, you see, this is the problem with modern football. They think they watch the game and they think they can replicate it. Horace Jones with an absolute terrible dive there. Here we go then, Jones. Slowing it down, passing it to Semple. Pings it. Oh my word, that's a nutmeg from about 30 yards. Oh, what is that? What is that? That is an awful attempt at a tackle. Darlow channeling his inner chowlery. Stent with a terrible challenge. They want to just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Oh, Chatfield saves him there. Chatfield saves him. Oh, we've got an attack from the Blues. The futsal team are interchanging. Johnson with the effort. Oh, what a save by Roland. He's like a cat. Rob the cat, Roland. Or rat, Roland would probably work a little bit better, actually. He gets his own caption. Look at that. Uh, McCann looks like he's going to be involved here. Just give it to McCann. Here he is, McCann. Terrible pass. Oh my days, what defending is that? It's straight to Johnson, and Johnson punishes. The Blues are level. It's 1 1. He wants to take his shirt off, but can't get it over that massive head. Scores a level. Good finish by Johnson, to be fair. Low pass, Roland. Moving on. Big punt forward by the Pinks. That is long ball football at his best. Cochran is in on goal. Oh, that's a nice touch, that. Past the physio Chatfield and he buries it. Bit of a footnote to this goal. Bit of editing was required by Mr Stent because Chats let out a huge expletive. Shows he cares, I guess, but it is a staff game. Ah, McCann v Semple, the real battle. Look at the pace here from McCann, running away from Semple, who's in about 12th gear. I remember, I was on at this point, I think. I'm pretty sure that I do some pretty epic defending. You can just see me near the penalty spot here. Let the runner go a little bit, but closing off the angle could have stopped the cross, admittedly. Uh, who's this lad? Erhan Ostuma. Oh, what a save by Roland. That's actually Joe Dent's younger brother, who was pretty epic on the game, to be fair. You know, Dave Farrell, he's still got that yard of pace, you know. Chatfield certainly knows. Watch this, look. Little shimmy, little star. Oh, he's away. Farrell down the left. Scott Wormsley, you may have seen him on the pitch before. He uh, helps with the skip challenge during the half-time interval. He also once played for Cambridge, so quite amusing to see him miss here. Farrell is off again. Sports scientist Neil Latimer with an all-or-nothing tackle. He got nothing. Oh, I remember this. This is so funny. Wormsley with the header. Keeper makes a save. Sometimes there's no words. Just, just no words. That man on the line, by the way, is the uh, groundsman. And uh, he pretty much makes sure he makes no divot on the pitch whatsoever because he makes one hell of a clearance here. Misses it. Just puts it straight back into his path. Wormsley with a simple finish. 
So some of this staff gang, we also invited some sponsors and some were better than others. Sit back and enjoy the next two clips because if there was an award for Miss of the Season, Chris Goodison from Motorpoint would be an award winner and be runner up and probably be third. Just no words are necessary here or here. See, this one's my particular favourite. I mean, it starts with a patient build-up. Dave Taylor here gets the ball, picks out his man with, well, as hard as he could kick the ball, pings it out wide. And you can see he's made a great run, Goodison. He stays on side, gets behind Gavin Slater, holds his run, and yeah. You see, if he repeated that several times, he wouldn't be able to do that again. Ah, I remember this one. This is the Clash of the Titans. Farrell versus Shepard. Fresh from his wonder goal a few years ago. No winner here. Not even football. Now, this clip is a good one. No, seriously, this is a pretty epic bit of football. Great take by Chatfield. Impressive drive from midfield. Oh, he gets away from Harris. Wonderful through ball. And you think, what's going on? The keeper's in nine man's lands. But there it is, crunching tackle from Bobby Moore, or Ryan Johnson, as we like to call him, because that's his name. In case you're losing track of the score, by the way, there's a handy little graphic in the top left-hand corner which says we're winning 3-1. Anyway, Brewer with the shot. Well, I should have called that, really. Nathan Wicks in goal, channeling his inner anic at this point. The uh, Pinks are operating with a rather bold 4-2-4 formation, getting everybody forward to support the attack. And look at this pretty football. You see, patience. Go back to go forward. Johnson plays it into the feet of Semple. Nice little one-two there with Gochran. Nice cross that from Semple. Right onto the head of Alex Harris, but he can't divert those locks of hair anywhere near the goal. All right, the Blues starting very deep here with McNichol. Plays a nice little one-two. Um, I can remember what actually happened here, so you can not watch this. Um, Mr Swan is the referee, Alan Swan. He revealed during the half-time interval that he only gave this free kick, which is coming up, because he wanted to see Grant McCann score a worldie. However, McCann, the man with all the international caps, a man who has scored in a playoff final, a man who has managed this fine club, was not given the opportunity to take this free kick by the greedy shepherd just because he scored a few years ago. Unnecessary. Poor free kick as well. Almost at the half-time whistle now. Posh pink team leading 3-1. They're pushing for a fourth. Is that Benjani in the box? No, it's Horace Jones. Oh, my days. Just didn't quite get his running stride right. He ended up in the back of the net, though. So all's well that ends well. Half-time score. The posh pinks are winning 3-1 into the second half and the fastest ever nutmeg recorded on record Joe Dent close those legs son and just look at his face on the replay he knows he knows oh hello what's going on here Pink's on the attack here Gokwin involved oh look at that look at that little turn from Gokwin get off son that's going in the Soccer AM showboat nice little pass to Scarf who makes no mistake and yes, that is him screaming, yeah, afterwards. Oh, a replay. That's wonderful. Kieran Scarf, academy manager. Look at that driving run in the middle. Outpaces Dan Wood, the slowest race in history. Opens his body. Great finish. See, 4-1 can be described as a route, I'm sure. The thing is, when you play from the back, you've got to make sure you get it right and not leave four men unmarked. Anyway, here it comes. Luke Jelly with a simple finish. I think there was pretty much a cue there in terms of who was going to finish that. Good job Jelly didn't miss. Team would have thrown a white wobbly. Now at this point, uh, we got a little bit generous. I mean, that effort didn't really trouble anyone. Playing out from the back here, just messing about really. We're so, we're so comfortable in the game, look, 5-1. Oh, just passing it about. I mean, that, that's a dive. I mean, look at that, that's blatant dive, blatant dive. Anyway, I have to admit, at this point, I had a little word with Faz, and we both decided that a wall was unnecessary for Chatfield's free kick. Oh, keeper's got to do better, surely, there. I mean, admittedly, he did hit it a little bit hard, but I think he should do better. Pretty good decision by me and Faz to get out of the wall, I think. That goal bringing it back to 5-2 to the pink. Still relatively comfortable. I mean, look, we've got uh, a lot of men forward here. And this is going to be long ball rubbish from the Blues. Look at that hoof. 
Oh my days, look at that touch from Mr. Avent. What a touch that is. Oh, we can have a replay as well. And a name check. Are we trying to get him a move? Tomo, bounce. Now then, I think Blue's pull one back here. This good work from women and girls coordinator Jenna Lusk. And Stent has a very simple finish. He hasn't mentioned that once this week. Not once. Not once. I'm expecting multiple replays here from different angles. Maybe a goal cam. And maybe a, a GoPro somewhere on his head. Look at that. He didn't even dink it. Let's straight out of the keeper. Very, very lucky. On we go then. Let's see what's happening here. Now, if I remember rightly, Dent got some abuse last year for his bravery. And anticipates the ball there. Oh, smashes his man there straight through. This is great work by Dent. Bears down on goal. Harry's screaming for the ball, literally screaming for the ball. And he's, oh, what an effort. Oh, my God, Roland. Sign that man up. Sign that man up. What an excellent stop by the man. Dent was desperate to shoot himself, but Harry basically threatened him. Blues continuing to press. Corner into the back post. Again, not the best defending. Roland with a good save there. Dive into his left. Blues continuing to press. At this point, I was playing um, somewhere. I've been beaten there by Johnson. Um, I say beaten. I mean, I've just let him go inside where all the bodies are. Dan Wood. What a shimmy. What a shimmy from Wood. Dent hugging the touchline. Well, as close as he can get to it. Greedy. Greedy effort. That's never going to trouble the keeper. Oh, I know what's coming here. It's the first part of brutality. Darlow, what are you doing there, son? You're trying to take Johnson's head right off. You failed. Try harder next time. They've even took, the, they've even took this free kick quickly. I'd be rolling around in agony at this point. Shoot from distance. That was our motto at this point. Don't let him get close. As you can see, we're a little bit deep there. I think that's Ryan Johnson playing everybody on side. As an effort from range, clears the crossbar. No real point stent of putting that in. Oh, uh, I made an effort there. I made an effort. Oh, my days. What is that from Dave Farrell? Oh, and Johnson's retaliated. This could get ugly. This could get ugly. This is like Chelsea Spurs all over again. Just without the bookings. Bit of a hopeful punt there. Oh, that's got to be offside. Surely that's got to be offside. Fairburn, finish. BBC Radio Cambridge, sports editor Nick Fairburn. Arrived late, somehow got in the team. Takes a touch. Goes to that massive gap next to Roland. Two in two for the big man. Here we go, look. You can just see me in the box there. Oh, what a header that is. What a header that is. That has pretty much kept us in the game. Pretty much kept us in the game. Blues playing out from the back. This is Isaac Jones, who's had far, much, far too much pace for anybody on that pitch. Son of Horace Jones. Sprays it out wide. Lovely little pass there. Oh, this is... Wonderful stuff. Chris Brewer looking at Johnson. What can he do? Oh, what a tackle that is from Brewer. Oh, my days. The referee is giving a free kick. Is he sure? That's proof that referees are always rubbish at whatever standard. He liked a quick free kick, don't they, the Blues? Johnson, fresh from being annihilated. Oh, I could have fouled him there. I could have fouled him, but I let him go. Thought the angle was tight. I was right. Now then, Sam Edwards bearing down on goal. Stent's the close. Oh my days, Tom Stent, what are you doing? That is a red card. Get him off. You can't tackle like that. What? No booking. Not even a talking to ref. Joe Scarborough with the free kick. Madison-esque. Good save by the Rabbit. Corner kick to the Blues. Awful corner kick as it goes. What's going on here? Oh, I remember this. This is another example of X-rated football. You can see Gokwin with his floppy hair making the challenge. Oh, my days. That is Michael Johnson. He's wiped him out and Gokwin rolling a good 20 yards there. The groundsman will not be happy. Pinks still winning 5-4, as you can see by the handy caption on the left-hand side. Ball into the box. Daly. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, Simon will be. Him. Simple finish. What's that, what, are you, what are you blowing your whistle for there, ref, eh? He's disallowed that, you know. He's disallowed that. He thinks that Daly's been fouled. Ludicrous decision. Ludicrous. Stent with the... I uh, well, don't know what he's doing there, to be fair. He's left it to Daly. And that's the final whistle. There goes the final whistle. The posh pink side have ran out victorious. 
did I mention I was in that pink victorious side a 5-4 win thoroughly deserved we only let the Blues score a few goals towards the end because we felt sorry for them scandalous refereeing scandalous play by some of those players in blue the final score posh blue four posh pink five